Friday marked the end of a strike and the beginning of a possible legal battle for Providence Health and Services. The five-day strike involved 1,800 nurses from three locations, Providence Portland, Providence Seaside, and Providence Home Health and Hospice. During the strike, Providence recruited around 475 replacement workers through a company called U.S. Nursing Corporation. On their website, the company notes they provide turnkey staffing solutions during labor disputes and avert the majority of all health care labor disputes nationwide. The Oregon Nurses Association claims Providence broke state labor laws by bringing them to Oregon. State laws bar employees from knowingly using professional strike breakers to replace employees on the picket lines. The Oregon law is clear. Hiring professional strike breakers is unfair, it violates the spirit of collective bargaining, and it is illegal. On Friday, the ONA called on the Oregon Attorney General's office. They asked them to investigate Providence, U.S. Nursing Corporation, and the replacement nurses for violating Oregon law. ONA is not claiming that Providence is forbidden from using replacement workers during a strike. In fact, that is why we provided a 10-day strike notice so that employers can prepare for a strike. We asked ONA who they'd suggest hiring instead. They said traveling nurses who don't specialize in strike breaking. I'm very surprised and very disappointed. For their part, Providence says they did what they felt was right. You need to remember we had 10 days to find a replacement workforce large enough to care for patients in three different divisions within Providence. And we did what we felt was the right thing to provide care to our community. During that 10 days, did, did Providence make an effort to seek out a replacement staff that did not include this outfit? I'm not going to comment on that. As nurses prepare to return to work Saturday morning, the question remains, could there be another strike? We have all options open to us as we move forward. Our focus right now is to return to the table and negotiate for a fair contract that our members deserve and that our patients need. Providence tells us they look forward to returning to the bargaining table soon and that it could be as early as next week. As for ONA's complaint to the AG's office, Providence declined to comment, saying their legal team is waiting to review it. Back to you.